girl Bree here with ET Disney and you guys look per usual I am so excited because today we are staying at Paradise Pier Hotel yay you guys this is the only hotel I have not stayed in before so I am super super excited I can't wait we got a standard room with club level you guys because low-key that was an accident your girl thought she was just getting stared into the price and I was like, oh, why? But yes, you guys, we have club level. So we're going to check out all that stuff. We're going to check out the pool, the room. I'm going to give you guys a tour. I'm going to show you the restaurants here, the gift shop. Y'all know how I do with the room tours. So y'all excited? Because I am. Let's go. So you guys, quick story time because we're walking to the hotel. We came in a little late, went straight to the park. So we're walking to the hotel. But you guys, I got a phone call yesterday from a 714 number. And I was like, I don't know her. So I'm not picking up. Y'all, it was... Paradise Pier Hotel talking about hi you have concierge service for the weekend like just let us know if you have any questions I was like concierge girl hell and then I realized I got the club level room <laughs> so I'm super excited to see what that's about you guys I heard there's like a club um area that got a whole bunch of free food so um <laughs> your girl has given Disney enough coins okay if you're telling me free I'm taking all of it all right so let's go you guys I'm so excited yes guys the sign the sign stop playing with me so you pull up here look at the yes yeah, giving me beach vibes guys beach vibes oh my gosh i see goofy big goofy big photo op in the lobby yes stop playing oh my gosh you guys so cute pink lemonade when you come in like come on this hotel is everything Hi. How are you? Great. How are you? Yes, I'm amazing. Thanks. Um, so I'm checking in two rooms. So excited, guys. There's so much great stuff at this hotel so far. Um, these are getting us into the little club. So I'm super excited. And our room, obviously. But also, if you have kids, they're little like play and pack that they have. They have it in every room. You don't even have to request it. Like we put in the request because of the other hotels, but they're in every room here, you guys. So. Really family friendly, perfect for the yeah. summer. I'm into it already, you guys. Super <laughs> into it. This hotel has the best customer service that I've ever had at any Disneyland hotel. Better than the original, better than Grand California, okay? Your girl, Julie, who checked us in, greatest human alive. Like, I'm not even kidding. Whoever's watching this, who works at Paradise Pier Hotel, managers, give your girl Julie a raise because she was literally the best she was so patient she taught me so much about this hotel seeing that I was vlogging it was my first time I'm telling you guys like this so far so good I'm into it like I'm happy she Julie made me happy just for checking in <laughs> so um, let's go guys we're gonna go check out everything else I think we're gonna head up to the room now and then we're gonna do that um, I think it's called the I don't I want to get the correct name but it is something club which is where we're gonna get the free food not really free it's a part of the club level price which i didn't know i was booking <laughs> but since we did we got to take advantage of it all right you guys let's go actually guys i'm right here in front of mickey in paradise which is their gift shop in the lobby as soon as you come in so let me just show you guys what they have in there Ooh, you guys they obviously just got <gasps> what why was this not in the parks <gasps> oh my gosh i did not see that guys yeah 44.99 guys Salt ones, oh my gosh. Guys, if you need strollers, $54.99. They did a whole freedom setup in here. Like for 4th of July, which was two weeks ago. $39.99 and when they open out, they have like the ears on top. Really cute guys, so cute. It's just all kind of stuff in the gift shop. Still got the pride popping. Pride popping. Okay, okay. Pool and towels, which are great. I think they're like 16 something each. Put it on your neck after you put water in it, guys. Bathing suits, trunks. Really giving you a beach vibe. It's just really bright and nice in here. Guys, for the kids, come on. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. A Nemo pail, how much is this? It's only $7.99? No, that's a mistake, hold on. <gasps> only $7.99? That's like the cheapest thing in Disneyland. Yeah. If you need snacks, I do. they've got you covered. Guys, they've even got a bunch of pins. Like, this is a store store, okay? <laughs> Jewelry, everything. It's all kind of ears. Ugh. Yes. 
Oh, they're not playing for the parents, y'all. They got you guys. <laughs> and while the parents are shopping, they have an entire little desk for kids to draw on and color. So cute. Guys, out of all the hotels, well, maybe Disneyland Hotel rivals it, but this gift shop is better than Grand California gift shop. Um, kind of tied with Disneyland Hotel, but that's a great gift shop. It's big, it's, it's spacious, it's bright in there. Um, I really like it. I like what they have in there as a selection, you guys. So, gift shop, thumbs up. Also in the lobby, lobby, lobby is the Surfside Lounge right across, this is the gift shop, right across is the Surfside Lounge. So I'm gonna show you guys that. You can order there and eat there or you can take it to go up to your room. Um, so let's see, guys. Surfside Lounge, guys. Look. So they are open from 11.30 a.m. to 11 p.m., okay? And it kind of has like a bar in here, guys. TV up here, so you can get a drink if you want. This is the bar menu, guys. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to look this amazing. Guys. Hold on. Oh. Okay, I can't stay. I can't stay. I can't stay. I have to go to the room. But, you guys, look at the drink. Stop. Oh. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. I. I'm not gonna get it. Gotta work, gotta work. Gotta show you guys the vlog. And then you could just pick up little things right here to go. Got some fruit. Okay, and coffee up there. So this is the Surfside Lounge. All right, guys, so I lied. It does not open at 11.30, it opens at 6 a.m. Cause I was like, okay, I'm seeing coffee there and usually that's for people who are going into the parks early. Well, it's for everybody, but you know what I mean. Um, but he said they open at 6 a.m. So you can come get breakfast here. He showed me the breakfast menu. Um, I'm just going to pan down and show you guys what they have in the breakfast menu. But they open at 6 a.m. That's amazing because if you're doing like the, well, if you're doing that walk around the park exercise thing, that starts at 6, so you have to be there by 6. But if you're doing like magic hours, which starts at 7, and you need full on breakfast at 6 a.m., Surfside Lounge, you guys. So let me show you the menu. So breakfast cocktails. Mocktails smoothie. <gasps> oh, you know, I love a good smoothie. Juice. And then they have breakfast plates, you guys. So, oops. Pancakes, French toast, omelets, eggs benedict, guys. Chili keys. Breakfast burrito, avocado toast. <gasps> Croissant sandwich fruit plate, you guys. Just come here for breakfast if you're staying at the Paradise Pier Hotel. <laughs> So breakfast is looking really good there. Really great option, 6 a.m., okay? And that's right here in the lobby, like right here when you come in, um, right behind the Goofy that you saw. So that's definitely dope, you guys. But I think it's time to go to the room because your girl wants to show you the room, your girl wants to take a nap, and your girl wants to take advantage of those free items. <laughs> the free food at the club level, yeah. See, Disney's doing that club level because they think, oh, people are gonna be in the parks. They're not gonna eat all the food. Who not? Y'all charge me how much for the club level? Guess what? I'm being in there all day. You're not gonna catch me in Splash Mountain line waiting two hours and I can come here and sit and eat food. So, uh, <laughs> I gotcha. I'm about to go eat at the club level. But let's go see the room first, guys, okay? So guys, you basically click whatever floor you're on here for the elevators and then it tells you what uh, letter to go to. So we're on nine for one of our rooms. We gotta go to B. But yeah, guys, there's four total, so and D is over there. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. The floor is just giving me a really beachy. Oh, we're right here. <laughs> right here. All right, let's do this. Yes, friends, yes, yes, wow. It feels really spacious in here, guys. Super into it, Cause could be because we got one king, but oh, let me see if I can pan back so you guys can see. Like, yes, come on. <gasps> I love that this is a pixel full. <laughs> like, I wanna keep this. Oh. <gasps> 
across Big TV. And since we got the club service or club level, they told us that we get a DVD player. So, don't know where she at, but let's open up in here. Safe, fridge, drawers down there, guys. Little office area. Ugh. I love this, okay? That little mirror, very cute. Into it. And it's off to the side, so it doesn't mess with feng shui. Um, guys, this just seems really bright and nice in here without any lights on. Without anything, guys. This lamp with a Mickey. This is dope. It's like a surfboard lamp. It's really cool. All right, it's just super nice detail. Really big bed. Sheets look clean. It's just great so far. Great. Same Keurig, coffee, some Dasani's. Look, a little, oh, a little welcome notes into it. Not personalized, we ain't special. So guys, bathroom right here, okay? Just a very simple bathroom. Simple. I think I like the bathrooms in the Disneyland Hotel a little bit better than this one. It's a really kind of small tub. Looks a little old. This is kind of cute. Um, but yeah, I like the actual room better than I like the bathroom. But, you know. Big mirror, sink. Same situations going on in here. Same Disney H2O magic. You know, same stuff, guys. So yeah, guys, overall, I kind of like the actual room. Um, bathroom, not so much. Looks a little small, but the room, I mean, this is, look at all this space. Look at all this space. This is great. This is crazy. Guys, our view is of the pool down here. Looks lit. Brought my swim clothes, so I'm very excited. We're gonna check that out a little later, guys. So, friends, I am in love with the space of this room. Could be, like I said, because we got the one king bed in here, um, but love it and super into it so far. I don't really care for the bathroom too much. I don't know why. I really don't have an exact reason. It just doesn't feel it doesn't feel as spacious as the one in the Disneyland Hotel. And I remember the Grand California Hotel. I like that bathroom a little bit more. So I'm not really into the bathroom. And I can't quite put my finger on why. Uh, but besides that, love the room. Better than I thought. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be shady. But it is the most, well, the cheapest out of all the three Disneyland on property hotels. Um, but it still ain't cheap, okay? At the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you how much we pay for each room. But it's the cheapest out of the three, so I wasn't really expecting it to be like a super, super fancy one, but I do uh, like this a lot, you guys. So I'm gonna actually go to my sister's room because her view is of the park of California Adventure. So I want you guys to see what a premium view looks like, and it's amazing because we can see the World of Color show from her room, you guys. So I'm gonna head over there now and show you guys her room. All right, guys, we're off the elevator. So we're gonna head to the room. All right, guys, so I'm in my sister's room. So let me show you guys the view of, this is the premium room, so the view of the park. Guys, look at that, look at that. So you can see the World of Color show, I'm sure. We're gonna check it out at night to see. But this is a premium view, you guys, okay? You get to see, <laughs> you get to see the park. You get to hear my nephew talking to you guys. Both of my nephews, they're twins. So cool, guys. So cool. Now we're on our way to the Beachcomber Club. So that is open from, I think it's 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, so I'm very excited, you guys. Right now we're going to the 5 to 7 p.m., um, which has, it's called A Moment in Paradise. And it has appetizers and complimentary weir, weir, beer and wine. Um, when you go at, from 6.30 a.m. actually, to 10.30 a.m. they have Continental breakfast, so it's like the free pastry, cereal, fruit and juice. Um, 11 to 4.30 is just called snacks, so it's fruit, snacks, and beverages. Oh, my ears are always talking to y'all. And then from 7 to 8, which is like the closest that they have desserts, so it's like sweets and treats. So, excited guys, second floor. I feel special. So excited. Let's go in. Same key card for the room to get in. Oh wow guys. 
Look. Oh my gosh, it's so much, you guys. Let's look. Having our moment in paradise where adults over the age of 21 receive a complimentary beer or wine of their choice. Yay. So we'll always have some fresh baked cookies here for okay. you, as well as vegetables, cheese, crackers. Uh, if we have some sandwiches, they'll be out. And then we okay. always have a different hot appetizer. Oh, great. Yeah, so today we have a little dumplings. Dumplings. Yeah. Okay, so excited. Thank you so You're much. The drinks are down here. Oh, wow. Okay, definitely I'm getting a juice bag. Am I acting like a kid, you guys? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Guys, these are the snacks right here. Yeah, I was like, how are you going to get it in? <laughs> so these are the snacks, guys. And then this is iced tea. Lem iced lemonade and water. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, coffee too. With Nespresso pop. <gasps> okay, Nespresso is a family favorite. We're obsessed. The machine is very high tech. Coffee, decaf with syrups, guys. This is just a really cool setup. Hot water, tea bags, guys. Guys, they also have a TV here for kids to watch stuff. Mommy! And then this is some kind of little game over here. I am so into this, guys. Um, everything about it. The cheese is amazing. The wine and beer. Like every, you guys love the wine, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Wine, amazing. This Reuben sandwich, look, I saw the last one on the plate. My mama always taught me you don't take the last anything, honey, I took it. Cause I'll play major bomb. And within three minutes, three, the chef was out with a full plate of Reuben's. Like, they are stocking up. This is worth it, guys. The cheese, like, I, second plate of cheese. Like, stop playing with me. And the cookie is like, they have juice boxes here, they have the sodas, guys. So, I'm drinking this right now, but I mean, you can obviously grab one and take it to go, you guys. Like, this is worth it, okay? I don't know what happened to me my whole life with club level not knowing about it, but, um, yes. Paradise Pier club level, I'm into it. I mean, it's nothing, I've never been to a club level at Disneyland, like, the extra stuff, so I don't know what to expect. I don't know if this is technically mediocre, if this is good or whatever, but I like it. <laughs> this is just light snacks right now. We're here for the five to seven hour, um, I mean, the five to seven snack time slot, and I like it, so. Okay, and we might mess around and come back for dessert, and I'm definitely going to come check out the continental breakfast, so I'm going to try to show y'all all the different time periods in this, okay? <laughs> you guys. You guys, I was in the middle of telling y'all whatever I just told y'all, right? And they are already starting to put out the dessert. It's not even 7 o'clock yet, okay? This is some raspberry situation, okay? I don't even know. My sister brought it. You're, bu you're busy. You probably don't want this. This is something yeah. else. Okay, I'm just way too excited because I'm still eating my Reuben. And they start bringing out desserts. Wait, wait, wait. Can I sit at the table? You gotta eat it right here. Guys, she's bringing out something else. One sec. Passion fruit kind of thing. Mango passion fruit, you guys. This one is a uh, cappuccino. <gasps> okay. And then this is mocha. Okay. Uh, over here we have these two have mousse on top. Okay. This one is, I think it's strawberry if I'm remembering correctly. Uh huh. And then um, an apple pie kind of thing oh and gosh. chocolate. Yes. And then some meringue um, situation, right? Yeah, <gasps> like a meringue tart. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are bringing out the desserts. This is so exciting, guys. Yes, more desserts they brought out, guys. <laughs> Just loving it in here. Yes, I don't know what to tell you about that club level, but the service was impeccable. Okay, shout out to Heather, shout out to Myra. Shout out to Anna. They were bringing the food like this. They were coming up to you and asking you if there's anything you need while you're stuffing your face, like in a nice way. Like they were really, really attentive there. Like I just, I'm a little shook. Um, I feel like I always want to do the club level, but only at Paradise Pier because the customer service, like they were all amazing. Like, like I feel like each one of them, Heather was super, super nice. She was checking on everybody. They even asked us, do you have a specific Disney movie you want us to put on the TV? Like. Girl, you gonna change the channel for us? <laughs> like, what? Um, Myra was amazing. She kept putting out the food and like having real conversations with you. Anna was super, super nice. She knew all the desserts. Every time it came up, I was like hounding her. She was like, you guys, Paradise Pier, 
club level is where it's at, okay? So I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I need to take a breather because I am full, honey, okay? When I told you I was eating everything, yep, yep, definitely, you guys. So I don't know what I'm going to do right now. Um, I'm probably going to take a nap, and then I'm going to check back in with you guys and show you more of this hotel. Wow. Friends, I still can't get over that amazing customer service at the club level situation, you guys. <laughs> they, they're just amazing. Um, but now we're on our way to the pool. I'm super, super excited. And uh, is it that elevator? <gasps> we might be going on the outside elevator. So we, oh yes we are, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, the pool, it's about 8 p.m. The sun is starting to go down, but I wanted to show you guys the pool area real quick. And also, did you know that you can watch the fireworks from the pool, you guys? So cool. So cool. But let's show you this elevator. This is the only outside elevator where you can see the outside when we go down. Wow, look at the view, guys. Do you see that from there? That's DCA, okay? Wow. Yes! Six, five. Today they're going to have live music oh, at the sandbar. Super dope. Let's go guys. <sighs> yes. These are the hours. Super excited. I will probably be here tomorrow morning as well. And then right here's the sandbar menu. You got oh seafood ceviche. <gasps> oh my gosh, are they open? I think I need to check it out. So guys, like I was saying, you come to the pool on the third level and you can watch the fireworks show from here. They also have the same music that they play the fireworks show is over here as well. So it's kind of like time to the show. It's really, really great. I'm super, super excited. I think we're gonna try to do it, but it gets crowded. So I'll let you guys, obviously I'm gonna vlog it if I do it, you guys, but let's go to the pool now. Ah! All right, you obviously get in with, oh, Mickey. <laughs> you obviously get in with your key card. So guys, this is like the main pool goes from three and a half to six feet deep let's check other areas so this is the slide it closes at eight but it looks so fun so we just missed it by four minutes <laughs> but it's all right because they open at nine so i can come back tomorrow you guys but super cool guys this is obviously the one foot pool for the babies in life and it's right here by the slide see this is how the slide is it ends guys so it's really 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 pool so we're going down the stairs and again and this is the main pool guys just real cool beachy vibe you know that's one jacuzzi um and when you go down here is where they have more seating areas they have a lot of like seating areas um and sandbar so let's go check out sandbar and this is the sandbar guys Yes, drinks. Ooh, I see a slushy drink. Yes, guys. Guys, no one is over here, but the band is jamming out. What is wrong with everybody? We gotta come over here. Look at them. Tonight. Yes. See Disneyland Hotel in the back, guys. chill over here i think i'm gonna tell my family to come over here but let's see what they have at the sandbar because i know my nephews are hungry so maybe i'll take them a little something to eat um because even though the club bar was amazing those little bites are not enough for some twin baby boys so i'm gonna see if we have anything here where i showed you the band um is playing is like the best view for the fireworks from this pool area like i told you guys earlier so we might just get a table over there and sit out for a while and wait for the fireworks because it's just so chill up here. Um, but I knew I was coming to get a meal for my nephews. Also got a drink, guys. Um, I've been hearing about this too, but the woman here recommended the uh, banana cabana, so I got that. It is $12. And I don't have my glasses, but I'm gonna try to see. I think it's mango rum, coconut rum, creme de banana, orange juice, Pineapple juice and grenadine. You guys, it's right here. <laughs> Thank you. You guys, oh, stop. You guys, let let's just 
Let's just get into it, guys. You guys, I forgot about y'all for a second because I went to take Instagram photos and I started drinking it, but it's bomb. Um, ooh, guys, it's very tropical. It's like a sweet flavor. Um, and it just, it tastes like a strong juice, like the pog juices. I don't know if you guys ever had pog. I think that's, is that kind of orange guava? Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm, sorry. Uh, I'm like trying to figure out, I'm like, is it the pot? It tastes like pot to me. You know, like when you go to, it, I think that's the pineapple orange guava mix, like when you go to shave ice places or Hawaiian. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, I, see I feel like it kind of tastes like that. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm not even getting the strong banana flavor, so if you're anti banana, you can still get this. It's really good. Yeah, guys. And it's super pretty for Instagram. So they are open from 12 to 9.45 at the Sand Bar. So that's where you can get some eats, some drinks. Um, come find your girl Kay, cause she's bomb. She made this drink. And she's super nice and super friendly. And that's what we're talking about at this hotel, you guys. Everybody is super nice, uh, amazing. So I need the Grand Californian and the Disneyland Hotel to take notes. Okay. But yes, guys, K is the best. Um, come here, 12 to 9.45. Drinks are amazing. They have a full, like the drink situation, food stuff, everything guys. Um, but yeah guys, we're just waiting on the food for my little nephews and then I'm um, gonna head back over by the pool and chill. Probably sit and listen to this music and if we stay up here for the fireworks show, of course I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like, okay? So stay tuned. Guys, I am fighting sleep, okay? <laughs> fighting sleep. But the fireworks are starting to like four minutes. I said I was gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all, but like, can you tell your girl needs a nap? <laughs> but let's go see these fireworks, guys. Here we go. They are on time. my best to show you that show but honestly it didn't do justice because like while I was filming it I was looking over in the left side and it just looked amazing in person even from the hotel so that is the view of the fireworks show from the hotel you guys Paradise Pier Hotel um, by the pool it's really cool because you don't have to walk in the park now we could just go upstairs to our room and sleep but um, I'm actually gonna head to my sister's room and we're gonna try to see if we can see the world of color show from there so I'll show you guys what that looks like from the premium room view all right let's go guys you guys, there's also a channel in the room that plays music, just like the show. It's about to start, so you can listen. It's kind of obstructed. Well, you can barely see it, you guys. I think a bunch of trees are blocking. Oh, you can see that. Yeah.
Um, you definitely don't see anything until you get to Jack Sparrow, uh, because it has fire in that scene, and I think a little bit of Pocahontas. You saw a couple things, you mostly saw like the water kind of going up in the air, very colorful. Um, but it really wasn't like seeing any of the characters, just like a little bit off to the side. So you don't really get to see the show if you have the park view, but the park looks nice, nice uh, lit up right before the show started. It looked really, really cool, you guys. So that's it for today, but we're not finished. I'm gonna give my final thoughts on the hotel tomorrow. We're gonna try to go back to the club level, um, club and see what the continents of breakfast looks like. And, oh, I think we didn't go to PCH Grill, so I'm just gonna stop by and see what that looks like, you guys, all right? So stay tuned, see you in the morning. Oh my gosh, you guys, we got off the elevator. This is just walking to the room, a side glass, and you can see it a little bit better here than from the room we were in. So just come to any floor that's facing it, and wow, you can actually see it a lot better. That's crazy, guys. Hey guys, good morning. So I'm actually gonna go to the Beach Comer Club again and show you guys what their breakfast options are like. Um, super excited. I think we're just gonna have a couple of snacks there. And uh, I still have to show you the PCH grill. I didn't show you that. So I'm gonna show you that after, all right? But let's go. So guys, there's cereal, fruit, pastries, we've done the whole yogurt sauce right here. Seven eggs. Yogurt parfait, guys. They brought the quiche bag. So for breakfast, they have orange juice, guys, milk, and chocolate milk. So we showed you like what the breakfast, the continental breakfast looks like if you do the club level. So now let me go back down to the lobby. I wanna show you guys, um, I know they used to have an arcade, but I didn't see that. So I think it may be closed down, but they also have an area where you can watch movies, like the little kids. It's like a cute little beachy theme. So let me show you guys that, and then we're gonna find PCH Grill. Okay guys, so there's a movie going on, so I'm not gonna talk when I go in there, but let me show you guys what it looks like. So it's super cute. <laughs> So that was really super cute if you want to have your kids go in there and watch a little movie in the lobby, you guys. But let's head over to PCH Grill, which is near Surfside Lounge and um, the gift shop, which I showed you guys earlier in the video. So let's go. Guys, so this is PCH Grill over here. And it looks like they have this Italian dinner buffet. And this is like the only character dining in here, PCH Grill. Guys, so this is what PCH Grill looks like. It's buffet style, and they have a ton of breakfast options here. They're letting me come in, you guys. So, like I said, the customer service here is amazing. <laughs> like, they're letting me show you guys this. But look, smoked salmon situation. They have fresh fruit. Guys, chilaquiles. Okay, you have sausage, you have bacon. Look, eggs, potatoes. Benedict. Guys, Minnie is right here just having a conversation with someone. There's an oatmeal station, guys. Chicken and waffles. French toast. Guys, this actually looks dope. Like, we already ate, but we might have to come back. And you can just see a ton of characters in here, you guys. Donald's over there. Stitch, Daisy, like this seems like it's really worth it, you guys. All right, you guys, so I just showed you PCH Grill. Um, it actually looks pretty good in there, and it seemed like a great experience because there were so many characters, and there were four characters when I went. I didn't even go all the way inside, so I don't even know if there are more. But the fact that like Minnie was sitting down talking to this little girl, like they didn't seem like they were rushed. It looked like a really, really great experience. So PCH Grill looks like something you guys should do. So, final thoughts on the stay, you guys. I love this hotel i'm not even kidding um so when we first booked this we were like oh it's one of the cheaper hotels like we don't know if it's gonna be the same like what is this but coming in here out of grand california and out of disneyland hotel this is the best one to me i'm not even kidding like i think it's the hospitality like the customer service is just 
everybody's amazing the fact that i remember everyone's name like julie who checked us in like anna and heather and myra at the club level service um like Kay at the the what is it the sand bar by the pool you guys the fact that i remember their names means that everybody in here is just amazing so I would tell you to come to this place um, to stay. I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna recommend it. Um, our sleep was amazing. The, first off, the shower, literally, as soon as I turned it to hot, it was like boiling hot, which is amazing. <laughs> like the water did not take forever to warm up. Shower was bomb. Um, the bed was so soft. And I know people have said that before, but like it, re it was a great sleep. Um, love the decor love that there was like the pixar ball in there in the room so the room was really nice it was spacious um i liked the view in ours my sister had a really great view of the park so it's really cool at night because you get to see it lit up um i think i showed you guys how world of color looked from her room it was obstructed and we were so embarrassed because we when we were leaving and we were on the elevators and we just looked out of the windows from the elevators we had a better vantage point so you could probably find a spot on any floor once you get off the elevator and go to the left there's like a perfect view of dca from paradise pier you could probably see world of color a lot better from there so i would recommend to do that um i just showed you guys the little movie theater area for kids um speaking to club level rooms only that club area that's where it's at you guys even if it's like a hundred or two hundred dollars extra if you're here for a couple of days it actually makes sense to do that because you can get that free food in there and don't have to worry about spending like you know what i mean it's it's like good quality snacks but when you're sitting there and you're eating it kind of fills you up so you could save money by spending more if that makes any sense um i'm trying to figure out what else is amazing sandbar was amazing uh, the pool area is really cool with that slide we went this morning and it was fun so i'm really into it guys like i don't even know what else did i show you guys oh i showed you like the other little restaurants the gift shop this gift shop to me is better than i don't know if it's better than disneyland hotel it's better than grand california to me um but it kind of ties with disneyland hotel because disneyland hotel has like kind of a big gift shop to me last time i went there like not as big as the world of disney store but it was like big for a hotel but this one is also great, okay? Because I saw some things in there that I didn't see in other parts of the park. Um, what else about this hotel? Great distance, actually. I, for some reason, I was like, this seems further away from the park than Disneyland Hotel, but it's not. When we were coming in to check in, beginning of my video, remember I told you guys I was walking? We actually cut through the Grand California Hotel, and then it's just across the street from that one. So it's closer. Now, to get there, you can't. You can't get into the Grand California without uh, staying there, so we're gonna have to take the roundabout or whatever. But coming in from DCA to check into this hotel, quick. What else, guys? It's just great. It's just great service all the way, all the way around. Um, I don't even know what to, what else to say. Like they're just super nice here. I'm definitely coming back to Paradise Pier Hotel, and I'm glad that I stayed here because this is one of the hotels where I was like, ah, I don't really know. This little hotel has magic. Uh, Grand Californian is like you know. It feels like a little resort, but I was like, what is this hotel going to give me? Well, this hotel is giving you great customer service. It's giving you hospitality. Uh, it's giving you beachy vibes. It's giving you family friendly. That's what it really feels like. And literally, it doesn't matter who the person is. I could stop anyone in this hotel who works here, ask them a question, and they have the answer. Like, I don't know who the manager is, <laughs> but like everybody is super, super nice. Um, so yeah, you guys, I don't know what else to say. If I think about it, I will... I don't know leave it below some tips um but let me know let me know if you guys have any questions about this hotel everybody loved it the kids loved it it was really great um and i think that's it <laughs> so if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe because i'll be doing more things like this i know i'm staying at the disneyland hotel in september october-ish for like halloween time so uh, make sure you guys subscribe so you can check out that review of this hotel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.